So today I'm going to be making a video that's kind of unconventional, something I'm not really used to doing. Uh, usually I'll do some kind of real scenario with like a human city basically, but today I'm going to be making kind of a sculptural object. I'm going to be making a beehive. Um, I noticed on the Twitter page of the inventor of this game, Oscar, he reposted somebody who, a few people actually, who had built kind of these interesting structures where, um, let me build one right now. So people were building things that kind of look like this, where it really doesn't make sense as a piece of architecture, but it makes this really, really cool pattern. And as I was looking at this, I realized that it looked a lot, a lot, a lot like honeycomb. So I decided what I wanted to do was build a gigantic beehive. I think that would look really, really cool in this game. Um, obviously, when you zoom in, you'd see the kind of human features, like the doors and the windows and stuff. But when you zoom out, you'd only see kind of this texture of this really, really cool pattern. Also, obviously, a honeycomb has six you know, sided shapes, and this would only have four or maybe eight if you look at, at these sides as, as sides. Um, but it'll still kind of get get the general vibe of honeycomb. So I'm going to turn on the grid and decide what a good uh, kind of path to go on is, because I want something that looks like a nice, a nicely shaped round area. Um, I guess I could, you know, this actually might not be easy to find an area that's perfectly round. So what I might do is go back to my video where I did the Hell Heaven Aliens, where they had the floating disc. Um, because that was a closed loop that was pretty round all the way around and if I use that as my starting point I can make a beehive that honestly looks somewhat like a round shape so um, shout out to uh, Willie C1 by the way for making this okay so here we have the floating template that I was using in one of my old videos uh, I think this will kind of be the shape of the hive and it'll go up from here now the question is should I keep it floating or should I make it on the ground plane? Um, hmm. I think it could be cool to be floating, to leave it floating. So let's start with, this is gonna be a long process. Let's start with just getting down the first layers of yellow. You know, actually come to think of it, the beehive is large enough to fit a whole city on the inside. So what I might do is make kind of a fictionalized version of a beehive where the bees have like houses and stuff on the inside of their big hive dome. Kind of like that movie Bee Movie. So a little bit like my Pompeii video, this video had a lot of sections where it was just me building these massive, massive structures, the outside of this beehive. Um, so I want to take the opportunity to plug my Twitter. I just started a Twitter account to promote this YouTube channel, so I'll be giving updates on there. Like for example, when I uh, couldn't post when the power was out uh, earlier, I think earlier this week, I couldn't inform anybody just because I don't have enough uh, YouTube followers to get like that official notification thing. And so I'll be posting notification stuff on my Twitter account. Okay, so here is the first level of my beehive. Um, I realized that if I wanna create a dome over the top and not have it just be a flat surface, then what it'll do is it'll create columns, these long columns going all the way down into the middle of my map, which I kind of don't like because if I'm going to be building, you know, houses and stuff, I don't want there to be big black columns kind of messing everything up, getting in the way of viewing it, especially if the way I'm going to have to view it is by kind of going through the, the wall of the beehive and then kind of scrolling around like this, which is not a very easy way of, of going around to begin with, um, I really don't want obstructions. And so the only way to avoid obstructions is to block it off with a flat layer because a flat layer won't have any interior corners, or sorry, exterior corners, which is where the columns are gonna be created. Um, so let's see, the only way I can do that is if I have multiple layers. So I think what I'm gonna do is build each section of the interior of the beehive as I go up and then I'll cap it off with a flat layer and then begin on the next layer. Um, 
So once I finish the interior part of this wall, I'm going to get started on what I would imagine being in this section of the beehive. I'm also going to switch colors, maybe the slightly different shade of yellow, just so when you look through kind of the honeycomb pattern, it doesn't look so uniform. There's kind of some interesting variation there. I think that could look cool. So if we start with that, just to test out what the color situation is. Would orange be better? No, I don't think orange would be better. So let's go with the slightly darker shade of yellow. It's not super visible that, that you know, this shade of yellow and this shade of yellow are different, but you can kind of see it, especially when they're right next to each other. So let's go with that. Interesting. So when I do when I do it like this on this section of the map, you can see through the wall right there. Like you can see through these little holes. It's not totally solid. But when I was doing it earlier, you couldn't see that. I wonder why that is. Um, oh, it's because they're different colors. If they were the same shade, they would probably meld into each other. So let's see what it looks like when I make them the, the same shade. You know, that looks interesting. I kind of prefer how that's more solid, but I still think that having a different color is more interesting, just because this looks kind of greenish, and I don't want the beehive to look greenish. If anything, it should look kind of more orangey than green. You know, I hate to keep flip-flopping, but but I really don't like the way that it makes these holes in it. You know, there's too many features, too many balconies, plants, things like that. It doesn't look like a beehive. So maybe I can make a three layer. Oof, wow, yeah, I'm gonna make a three layer thing. I'm gonna do two kind of honeycomb layers and then one solid layer. Yep. So even though there's two separate colors, it, it won't make those little holes. It'll make this nice even roof pattern. Perfect. I'm always looking for new ideas of things to build in Townscaper, so if anybody has any recommendations or if there's something that somebody else did that's something that I should kind of follow or do something similar to, uh, please let me know in the comment section below because I'm always open to making things that people who subscribe to me recommend. Um, in my last video I made Pompeii based off a request that I do aqueducts. Okay, so there goes the first layer of kind of the exterior. I think that looks really good. Especially when you zoom out, I think that when I build the next layers, it'll really look like a, like a real honeycomb shape. Um, so, in this layer, I'm kind of imagining that the beehive is upside down. I can't turn my map upside down in this game, but let's just say it's, imagine it's kind of flipped. So I'll have some kind of central stem right here. Um, the beehive is hanging from, and then this will be the top layer in terms of real life position, but right here it's the bottom layer. Um, so I'm kind of imagining all the buildings are hanging upside down. Um, and because this is the top layer, let's imagine that that is kind of where like the queen bee lives, just because that is who probably started. Actually, I don't even know how beehives work, but let's just say that bee, the queen bee is the one who starts the beehive. So she lives in the best color, every bee's favorite color, yellow. She lives in a big castle here. Um, and I'm gonna make this kind of patterned after my favorite town hall. As you guys know, I really like it when town halls look like this, um, but I'm gonna make it a little bit more grand. Okay, so she lives there. That is kind of her like den area. And then she's got a huge, huge breeding ground where she like lays her eggs and stuff. Um, which is kind of gross to think about just living surrounded by your own eggs, but that's how bees live, I guess. So we can imagine that that is orange. You know, I really should have looked up how bees do stuff, like how, how their colonies work. I'm totally guessing here. Um, so let's just imagine that she has just these big, like warehouse type buildings just full of her own offspring. That is just 
she just lives surrounded by them. Maybe they're skyscrapers like that. Oh, actually, I can make them honeycomb. They'll be orange honeycomb. I'm kind of imagining orange as like a nectar color, and that's why they're this color, but I don't really know if the nectar goes for like the, the larva or what the nectar is really for, but that's what I'm going to build in this area. Kind of honeycomb skyscrapers full of nectar. You can probably tell already, but I don't know anything about bees. The only time I ever learned about bees was probably like second grade. So every time, everything that I'm mentioning about how this beehive works is purely just me remembering maybe things that are facts, but also maybe things that are not facts, and also snippets that I learned from the bee movie, which I also haven't watched recently. I probably watched it like 10 years ago. So please don't take anything that I say about bees in this video as fact, because it probably isn't a fact. Okay, so I think that's enough for kind of the areas where whatever the eggs like hatch and the larva live. Oh, actually, I meant to build one more over here. And even though I have my computer here with me, I'm not going to fact check anything that I say about bees, just because I think that it'll make me sad looking at all the incorrect things that I'm telling you. Um, so I don't know what's true about bees and I'm not going to know what's true about bees. So again, please, please, please don't repeat any of the facts that I'm telling you about bees because they're probably not facts. Okay, so I think that's done for kind of where the eggs are. And then maybe in the area around the castle, I can have some other maybe like other administrative buildings. So these don't get the same primo yellow color that this does. They get kind of like a, maybe they're white. Yeah, because there's they're still white in beehives. I think maybe because of the wax. So the other buildings can, kind of imagining how in DC, a lot of the big federal buildings are big kind of white buildings with a courtyard in the middle. So I can make these that. And then maybe over here can be like a memorial or something. The queen probably doesn't really care about all the individual bees who, you know, die. So what would that be? Maybe this is like the breeding house or something. Don't bees have like special male bees that are only there for breeding? So maybe they all live in this big apartment building. And so they're just chilling, waiting for the queen to invite them over. So the grand tour of this level is you've got the kind of queen bee castle right in the middle where the queen lives, very nice, luxurious, kind of Taj Mahal-ish with these towers, the minarets on the outside. Um, then you've got the main part of this level, which is where all of the eggs and larva live. I think that's the point of honeycomb, if I'm not mistaken, is that's where the larva, like each one gets a little honeycomb hole and they eat syrup or something and then nectar and then they grow into a full bee um but i'm not totally sure about that but that's what kind of these orange orange towers here are and then the white buildings are just administrative buildings obviously this is the place where the queen bee lives so there's got to be some business that goes on um so whenever she's got deals to make money moves to make she goes and uses her advisors who are in these kind of administrative areas and then let's cover this with a single layer a uh, single flat layer so that no columns are created and then we can work on the next layer so i have changed my mind i have decided that it is not responsible to make this long of a video about a beehive and not teach you some facts about bees so i googled weird facts about bees and i'm putting them in here so you can learn a little bit about bees Cool. So I have this flat top here. Um, you know what I might do is create like a central hole because as long as there's no exterior corners, this is totally fine. Um, I can make a central hole right above where I know that the queen's castle is. Uh, right, see right in the middle here. And let's see how large I can go before it makes an exterior corner. Because this way, this can be like the central path that the people and the queen use to get 
from one part of the hive to the other. Just in case there's some business that has to go on, that has to go between levels. Um, so, how big should that be? Is that big enough? I think that's big enough. And then this level around it can be... Oh, and maybe we should make an elevator. Hmm, maybe multiple. No, maybe, maybe, so the Queen's Palace is kind of right in the middle there. Casual. But then these towers are actually elevators. And those go between the different levels. And they've got little walkways connecting them. Oh, this is going to be so cool. Still no exterior corners. Maybe each elevator could get a little arch. A little arch leading into it. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, this might take up too much space, so I might end up deleting this later, but for now, let's keep these. Okay, and then for this next level, we can make the houses. The houses of all the individual bees who live in this whole complex. Actually, you know, let me make this symmetrical. And I can do that by, I'll close off this part of the atrium. And then I'll build a second arch here and delete that first one right to the right. Just so that the... You know, there's three arches on three sides of the triangle for three elevators. Just makes more sense. Okay, so this area can be the main neighborhood where all the kind of lab bees live. All like the non-important worker bee people. And because it's a very uniform kind of society, they all have really similar looking houses. So let's build like a generic, maybe that can be what each of their houses look like. Or maybe... Because there are so many of them, they should probably live in like a apartment buildings or something. Hmm. But I kind of just made apartment buildings in the level beneath. I'd love it for there to be some kind of neighborhood structure on this level. Um, so I can do kind of an in-between. I can just make really large houses. So maybe each one has like two families or something. Yeah, like that. Hmm, maybe at this point I should have the wall move in, actually. Just so I can start making kind of the cone shape of the beehive. Um, so the outer wall is this lighter color. Let's start making that. This is another one of those really long sections. So I'm gonna read out some facts about bees. The practice of beekeeping dates back at least 4,500 years. Approximately one-third of the food we eat is the result of honey bee pollination. In their six to eight week lifespan, a worker bee will fly the equivalent distance of one and a half times the circumference of the earth. Wow. A productive bee can lay up to 2,500 eggs per day. Mead, which is made from fermented honey, is the world's oldest fermented beverage. There are three types of bees in every hive. A queen, worker bees, and drones. Honeybees are the only insect that produces food consumed by humans. But what about other insects, like producing themselves? Because people eat bugs, right? Whatever. Okay, so now back to filling in kind of this neighborhood, now that I've built up the walls around it. Um, I built the walls up really, really high. So I guess I might as well go high within the walls as well. Um, and because the walls are so clearly it's just bright, bright yellow. I might want to make some variation on the inside. So maybe I can have some, as I mentioned earlier, like apartment buildings on this on this wall here. A single bee will produce only about one twelfth of a teaspoon of honey in its lifetime. Bees are attracted by caffeine. Bees are 100 times more sensitive to the smell of flowers than humans. Okay, so now now I've kind of boosted the housing capacity of this main area. So now it can fit a lot more people. I converted the houses that were down there into apartment buildings, and I built more apartment buildings on the wall of this area here. Um, All right, so now I think it's time for me to build the shelf over this area. So 
So I can already see that with the next level, I'm probably going to have to cut off one of these elevators. So maybe I can have not all three elevators going through all three levels, or all four levels. I can, uh, I can maybe cut off this one here. So it ends, it ends just at, um, at this level. Okay, so we're getting kind of close to the top. This next level, I think, is going to be kind of like the industrial level. I'm imagining this is where they process the honey and kind of do the more jobby parts of what goes on in the beehive. And so this area should be maybe this kind of dark brownish color, not very well maintained because it's not supposed to be beautiful. Just a bunch of kind of ugly looking factory-ish factory -ish buildings like this. Um, and there's probably no no real visible order to it. It's just kind of a mishmash of different buildings. Um, now each building is obviously going to have a different function, like, you know, distilling the nectar or whatever. I'm kind of trying to imagine, trying to remember what was in that B movie where they had like all those complex contraptions and stuff, contraptions and stuff, um, spooning honey everywhere and pouring it into jars and blah, 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 blah. Um, I can't really remember what it is, but you gotta get the point. I just want to depict as much kind of confusion as possible in this area. And I think the fact that they have these black columns here, that definitely helps. That definitely makes it look a little bit more uh, industrial. Now I don't know... I don't know where bees enter a hive. Do they enter through the top? Okay, I think this industrial area looks... This looks kind of complex enough. There's just so much junk all over the place. Nobody even knows what they do. Awesome. And then to get from the other levels, you need to use the elevator. And then to get from the elevator onto the actual factory floor, you've got to come through. Come through there. Let me move that one to the right. And then there's no arch here, just because they don't need an arch. It's not here to be beautiful, it's here to be functional. Okay, yeah, so you come out and you go directly onto the interior of this this factory building here when you come out of the elevator. So let's make the elevator a little bit taller. Um, maybe I only need one more elevator to this top level. Um, so I can kind of keep with the pattern of one elevator getting chopped off with each increment of a level. Um, and then this top level I'm kind of imagining is like the defense area so i don't know if in a hive they have bees that are dedicated just to defense um like a kind of a military type of thing but i'm kind of imagining that they have them um i saw the bee movie a really long time ago so i don't even remember if they were there in that movie but um this top level will basically be like defense command because it's right by the entrance so they can get deployed as soon as they need to be you know on the scene or whatever um Oh, and then I gotta add the texture on the outside. Okay, so I have a couple things to do before I get to that level. Oof, almost done. I think this is probably the most repetitive build I've done. Even though the mountain in my Pompeii video took a long time to build, there was still kind of a lot of variation as I was going up, kind of thinking about the different ridges and hills and valleys and stuff. Um, whereas creating the structure of this beehive has really just been kind of powering through layer after layer of the same thing. So this area at the top, I really can't fit a whole lot because I want the dome to come right over here. So let's just make maybe some red military like bunkers or something just in a row like there. Um, and that's probably the only, maybe there as well, I can, I can fit something. Okay, that's honestly kind of lame, but that's really all I can fit on this level before I build a wall kind of angling really sharply over it. Um, you know, I should probably, I can do a courtyard. That's what I can do. And there can be kind of like a training area in the middle. Oh, and maybe there can be um, holes in the side so that if they have to get deployed super fast, they can do that. Yeah, okay. So that can actually look kind of nice. But I'll have to do that once I build the, the rest of the wall. Then I'll kind of dig the holes through. The process of building this slanted layer over that top defense layer where I had those red military buildings um, that process ended up honestly kind of destroying that layer. I had a lot of roof tiles that I had to 
insert as too slanted, coming in too low, and they ended up kind of merging with that section. So uh, we can kind of imagine that it looks good in the inside when the roof goes on top, but in reality, it totally, totally, totally screwed it up. But that's okay, because you don't see it anyway. All right. Wow. Okay, so I think I'm... Uh... Oh, now i got to add the stem. It is dark brown, and so this will be where the where the beehive kind of goes into the ground. Or in... Oh, sorry, where it attaches to the tree, wherever that is. Okay, hopefully that's kind of central. I really I can't tell super well, but from every angle it looks like it's kind of somewhere in the middle of the map. Perfect. Um, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna change this outer layer from blue to something else. I changed the cap color to white because I noticed that a lot of the uh, honeycombs that I was looking at in just Google Images had a lot of white kind of residue on them. I think just from the wax that maybe wasn't covered in nectar. So I figured I needed some white in my beehive somewhere. So that's the build. Now, uh, now I think it's time for the grand tour. So at the top right here, you've got, or when you zoom out, it kind of looks, you know, abstract. There's like a bunch of random rooftops, kind of a jumble of things. Nothing really sticks out. But when you go closer, you see that there's a tower here with an arch leading into it and kind of a side building right there. Maybe it's like a little checkpoint or visitor center type of thing. Um, and basically this tower here is the beginning of the first elevator. So imagine we're going down through the first layer. Can we even do that? Oh yeah, if I go down and then I can physically walk in. Okay. So I'm going through the wall. Now, this is kind of been built over so it's hard to see but here is supposed to be kind of the top level which is like a fort or something where you've got like guard houses and stuff honestly I'm not going to spend any more time here just because you clearly cannot see literally anything so I'm going to keep going down um, and then this level is what is this level oh yeah it's kind of like a factory level so um, you've got a lot of different structures involved in the processing of the honey or whatever the nectar and so it's kind of a jumble of random industrial buildings. Uh, you can't really tell what the purpose of each one is just because it's it's not very clear, kind of ambiguous, but they're all the uniform color. It's not a place you want to stick around in for long. It's just kind of where everybody works. And so here's the elevator. Let's continue going down into the layer below. Now we've got the uh, place where most people live. I guess most bees live. This is basically a bunch of apartment buildings. So here, are these three yellow ones in a row, one, two, and three. And then on the opposite side of the elevators, you have a couple of these orange ones that are a lot higher um, and pretty much go all the way to the top of the level. Oops. Now let's go back to the elevator area and try to make our way down. Oh, we're actually inside the elevator now. It's pretty cool. See, now we're going down through the floor and now we're in the kind of royal chamber area. So here is where the queen is. Oops. The queen lives in this castle right here. There. So that oops. The castle's got this central central tower and then these three kind of side wings. And then the elevators, the three elevators that go to the top are on the three sides of that castle. And then surrounding the castle, you've got these white buildings, which I'm imagining are kind of administrative buildings, so I modeled them after like the federal buildings in Washington DC where there's a lot of courtyards. They're all white. Um, they just kind of look very stately and very symmetrical. And then on the opposite side of the, of the federal buildings, you've got these massive, massive rows of where I'm kind of imagining all the little like larvae are. I think that's how bees, I think that's why bees make honeycomb is because each little cell is for a, a new bee that's you know in its egg or in its larval stage or whatever kind of growing into its full size so you've got these long rows of just cells um in this orange kind of nectary color uh with these alleyways in between them 
And then in the back, you've got the apartment building where all of the like breeder bees live. Obviously the queen has to mate with somebody. I don't exactly know how bees are formed, but I'm imagining that she just has a castle basically full of husbands in this corner of the hive. So that's kind of, this is kind of her, her lair, her zone. Now let's zoom all the way back out. On the outside, you can see the texture is kind of a honeycomb texture. Uh, as you get toward the top, you can see other colors kind of mixed in like this orange and kind of a darker yellow, just because as you get away from the rural area, things get more messy and more kind of out of alignment. Um, but in the lower levels, you can see things are very organized and very uniform across the whole hive. Uh, and then at the very bottom, or I guess the very top, because I'm imagining the whole thing is upside down, um, the very top is the little connection where the hive hangs from the tree or wherever it's hanging from. So this is my build. This is the bee from, this is the hive from the bee movie. So now I'd like to start a new part of my video components where I rate the build I just made. I would say that this build gets a plus one for bees, a plus one for being multiple layers, a plus one for being a fictional scenario, a plus one for having a strong color scheme, and a minus one for being kind of ugly, a minus one for the larva, and a minus one for the fact that I didn't know anything about bees and I've already forgotten the fun facts that I put in the middle of this video. So overall, that means it gets a six. If you disagree, feel free to dislike this video and leave hate comments down below, but otherwise I will see you on Thursday night when I post my next video. Well, that's it, folks. <laughs> Thanks for